Hey guys, so today we will create this carousels slider in Learn Worlds. And actually, this works not only in Learn Worlds, but literally all kind of um, platforms. So whether you use Wix, Corfa, Teachable, um, the process or the materials that you're going to use are similar. All right. So but since I'm going to use Learn Worlds, you will see the process specifically in Learn Worlds only. So anyway, my teammate want me to come up with a, let me open this up, masterclass.com. So my, my teammate want me to come up with this, this kind of slider thing, but we want to, we want to have a similar vibe. However, um, at the same time as well, we want it to be different. That's why I come up with this kind of slider. Actually, I also created this custom one, but it ended up giving me additional work to fix the responsiveness of the slider. So I look for a jQuery plugin and that plugin is called Owl Carousel. All right. So yeah, I'll show you how this how you can come up with this kind of design in Learn Worlds. So stay tuned. Now, the first thing you need to do is um, edit the course or open your the back end of your Learn Worlds platform and then go in okay you need to click this back in here so you can um, see the whole page so regardless of what pages or course page you are opening it's still fine because we, we will just open the custom code okay so once you're ready on um on your page click this site and then site custom code and then here under the site custom code, you need to put this two um, CSS, okay, the uh, two um, CDN, the carousel that mean that CSS and the uh, all that theme that default that mean that CSS. Anyway, I have a article version on this, and I will also put all the codes that you should be putting on your learn words platform or actually any kind of platform so make sure you check my article version on that now um in learn worlds at the moment the html or the head section doesn't have a dynamic thing so we need to duplicate this link this two um cdn in in this section under the login and under the log out okay so you need to duplicate that okay make sure that these two links are in the login and in the log out okay now let's proceed to the script okay so slider needs a jquery to work okay so and since we don't want to start from scratch we will be using the carousel CDN, okay? So we need to put this Cloudflare CDN. It's called owl.carousel that mean that JS. So put this script same with the head. You put it on the login and you also put it on the log out. Right. Now we need actually there's also other thing um, that you need to install if you're not using a platform that doesn't support jQuery. So if you are using a standalone um, HTML page, then you need to put this code as well. This, this, hold on, not that one, but this one, the jQuery um, latest version. Okay, but right now, as I said, Learn World support jQuery, so no need for us to put this one. Okay, now once you're ready, put all the script, the two CDN for the CSS and for the .js, we can then put this jQuery in order to trigger the, um, what do you call that, this carousel version thing. Okay, let me just preview this one. Okay, so we need to come up with this carousel version thing. Are you looking for an affordable way to outsource your tasks? 
better check out Fiverr. I'm gonna put the link below just so you can have the free credits. So what is Fiverr? Basically, Fiverr allows you to outsource your tasks for as low as five dollars per month. There's a lot of contractors there that offer a lot of services that can be really helpful for your business. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. Again, we already up add the CSS and the JS and the script. We can then go to your to to your page, to any page. Okay, for example, this one, and then we will select a slider, a elements, a widget rather called embed code. Okay, and in the embed code, we need to paste this script. Um, I'll show you what's the boilerplate of that script. Script. Let me go into the oil carousel thing. This one, and go into the basic. Um, you can use different demos, like for example, URL hash thing. So this is how it looks. Or you can also use. Let me go back. Sorry. So there's also a, a video thing, but we're not doing that one. Like you can literally come up with a different styling if you want to. But the this style, this style is basically the this demo. So you need to get this code. This is the code that I, the script that I wrote in the in, earlier. So we need to put this carousel code here. So this number one, two, three, let me just copy that one and then put it over in the empty embed code and update it. And then let's update the save and, and update the page again. So as you can see here, um, like you see it, it's, there is a one, two, three happening um, on the page and I use HTML embed code so it doesn't look messy. So if you notice the um, bottom slider, you'll see that it is a background block instead of a background image. So what you can do is just remove, um, add a style over here or you can use a Visual Studio Code if you want to. But yeah, so what I did here, because the original style looks like this. So I just add something. Yeah, I just add something like this. Style background image URL and then the image of this of the thumbnail. And then I also filter or I add a filter of gray scale. So that's what I did. And then under inside that div you can literally come up with different paragraph or different elements like headings and stuff so like that i haven't changed some of the images yet but you see what i like the g's of it how it how it floats so that's basically you can do and then the other thing as well is you can um take advantage of their new um new elements called tabs or new widget called tabs so what i did here like they have a tab um widget so what i did is a panelist has a different slider and this one as well has a different slider different slider and a different slider also i forgot i also added a custom css because the default um style for the slider is i think it's a vertical thing like in the boilerplate here as you can see let me open the owl carousel like how it looks like is is this so it is squared format and we want it to look like master class right so i also changed the height of the carousel so i go into the Again, site, site, custom code, and then go to dynamic CSS because I want to change it in all pages, not just to the specific page. So I added uh, just a few snippet of code to this one, item H4, because um, I want the H4, this one, I want it to be at the middle um, position of the images. So that's one that I added. Actually, let me just put it over. 
here um, under the item thing. Yeah. I want to make it. Oh. Stop transform. Let me just remove this one because it's ready redundant. But yeah, basically, I come up with item here on the slider item eight. I make the height 400 pixel background block as default and border radius of 10 px h4 I want it to be in the middle as well and then I also want this to be on the centered part of the um, body so again I will create an article version for this so feel free to check it on the link description below to get all the codes that I use here um, and you can always apply that in any platform regardless if you're using learn worlds or not that's it and i hope you find it valuable